Hey, what is going on everybody? This is Beanie and welcome back to another video today. I know I'm a little bit late guys. I know I'm a little bit late, but today we are going to be talking about uh, all of the in-depth details that they talked about in the last Diamond Dynasty stream. We've already gone over like all the, the signature series, all the new special edition diamonds and a few other things from that stream, but we never really got into how Diamond Dynasty works in, uh, in MLB 19. And uh, just before we get into that, I have a small little announcement. Today is March 20th. And um, I, every single year before MLB The Show comes out, like a week before it comes out, I start my tutorial series. It's the most popular series that I ever have on my channel ever like it, it, I, I think my my like five of my six uh highest viewed videos ever have been from my signature series or not from my signature from my tutorial series it's it's really good um and people it seems to help people a lot and i'm starting that on march 22nd and i'm gonna do the same thing that i've done the past few years i'm going to uh you know, make my uh, first few videos before the game comes out, just outlining what you need to know uh, if, you, if you're just getting into MLB The Show, or even if you have been into it for a while and you're just looking to get better. And then once the game comes out, I'm really going to get in depth once I have my hands on it and I feel all the nuances of the game and everything like that. I'll make a few more videos uh, kind of outlining very, very specific and ad advanced techniques that might help you get a lot better. Um, I'm probably going to roll uh, those out um, once the game comes out. I'm probably going to roll those out maybe twice a week, something like that. Um, but uh, starting on the 22nd, you should have a tutorial video every single day leading up to MLB The Show. So uh, I already have the videos made and everything like that. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into uh, what's new in Diamond Dynasty. Okay, so the theme of Diamond Dynasty this year, to me at least, seems to be two things. Choice, player choice, and uh, depth. It seems to have a lot of depth, and it seems to want to give the player a lot of different options and different directions they can go when building their team. And uh, so, in, in you know shooting for that goal, uh, they decided to implement something called the XP Reward Path, which is what you see right up here. And you can get, I'm actually, I'm shocked at how good the cards are that you can get from this. Um, for every hundred levels that, that you level up and a hundred levels really, at least in the past, it doesn't take that long to get there really. Um, so every hundred levels that you level up, you get a 99 overall uh, player. You get your choice of a 99 overall player. Now all five of them are hitters and all five of them, I'm sure that by the end of the year that they'll just be like kind of good cards and not like amazing cards but early in the year they are going to be pretty freaking amazing like i mean you you have duke snyder frank thomas uh who have joe morgan tony gwen like these are going to be some of the best cards in the game early on and uh so you, you might want to start your xp grind really early uh, whenever whenever you get into Diamond Dynasty, I know that that sounds kind of weird because XP really hasn't meant anything outside of the ticket counter in the past. But this year, it's going to mean a lot uh, just how quick you can level up, you know, and I, it, it's going to be very odd for me because I've never thought about my level before. But uh, like I hit Diamond level 100 like pretty early. I didn't even care. I was like, okay, whatever. It's not, it's not even that big of a deal. But now if you do that, you're going to get an amazing card. So so uh, it's, it's going to be a pretty neat thing. And also along the way, that's not the only thing that you're shooting for. You're also shooting for uh, smaller packs and, and a lot of different types of choice packs, like maybe a few program packs here. They're like a breakout program or something like that. Um, you're you're going to be given a lot of different decisions to make along the way and a lot of different rewards. So, uh, so the XP reward path is going to be something that you're going to keep your eye on at least until you hit that diamond level 100 once you hit that it's probably you're probably not going to think about it again but it's going to it's probably going to take you at least like three or four months to hit that so uh so yeah it should keep you engaged for a pretty long time okay then ne the next thing they talked about was team affinity and this is probably the thing that i'm the most confused on because i'm not exactly sure what it is i don't know if you go in and you pick a team 
and like once you have that team picked you earn stats for that and then it, it kind of works like a program you know you work up until you get what all you want and then you switch teams like you can go to another team or i don't know if you pick one team and you're locked into that team or i don't know if you don't even have to pick a team you can just earn based on what you do in diamond dynasty it'll just automatically go into whatever uh, team affinity program that it, it's supposed to go into if you, if you understand what I'm saying I'm not exactly sure how that works but other than that I, I think I got a pretty good handle on it um, basically it's just 30 different programs where you have to do uh, team specific stuff to earn uh, program stars uh, that will advance you through the program and once you get to level 50 of that program you'll get this uh, overall kind of ultimate reward for that program and I think all of them are diamonds um, some are a lot better than others uh, and you can also uh, it seems like the way that you're gonna earn most of your program stars in this uh, in this little uh, side mission program thing in Diamond Dynasty is going to be through competing in March to October. So if you're a fan of that game mode, maybe you can get a lot of really good cards that way. But none of the cards on here really seem all that, all that overpowered. And um, something that I really think they kind of missed the boat on is the level 100 reward for each team affinity thing is a nameplate. But that's like people, nobody's going to go for that. Nobody for any team. Um, it, they, they, they should have put a much, a much, much better diamond at the end. If, you, if you're going to put in all that work to get to level 100 uh, at the end of the program, you should get like a 95 plus diamond because that's a lot of work to put in and, and you should, you, you should be able to do that. But you know, they decided to do what they decided to do. So it's no big deal. There, there are a lot of other different ways to, to earn cards, but I do end up thinking because they made that decision that team affinity is going to kind of end up being an afterthought in diamond dynasty by, you know, the, the first week in June. So, uh, yeah, it, it's not something that I'm super excited about, but it's, it's whatever. And just before we move on, here is one of the team affinity programs. As you can see here are, or wait, uh, uh, right here are all the ways that you can earn, uh, the, the XP or program stars to advance the program. Uh, not too bad. Not, not anything kind of crazy. And there are, there is more stuff that does scroll up and down. And then once you get to uh, level 50, you get an 85 overall Bob Gibson for the St. Louis Cardinals. That That's an okay reward. You know, it's not great. It, it's not anything to write home about. It's just purely okay. Uh, I know one of the legend reveals is a 91 overall Howe Neuhauser for the Detroit Tigers. Maybe that one is going to be a little bit more worth it. Maybe it's a little harder to get. But they're just okay. They're, they're, they're nothing unbelievable. So I, I think most people are going to skip this in lieu of going for the more impactful things like the XP reward path, even though this will earn you XP as well. So, you know, maybe you can kill two birds with one stone and get two pretty good players for the price of one. Maybe. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but yeah, I was just, I, I just figured I would show you this. Okay. Next up, let's talk about, uh, conquest. Uh, conquest is a lot different this year. As you can see behind me, there are a lot of different maps that they've created to, um, uh, to, you know, give you a, a little bit of variety. If, if you're someone that really likes conquest, I know a lot of people do. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but maybe with this change up, it'll have like more strategy involved or something and it'll become a lot cooler to me. Uh, but, um, I, it's, it's hard to tell exactly what all conquest is going to apply to this year. It seems like it's going to apply to a lot of different things like team affinity, maybe, uh, XP reward path. It's going to apply to uh, different programs, uh, different featured programs that they have, like the first inning, second inning type stuff. Probably, uh, it seems like you're going to be in conquest a lot if you want to quickly get a lot of these uh programs and stuff done so uh if you're not a big fan of conquest uh you might want to try to learn to love it because it seems like it's going to be a bigger deal this year uh at least for the players that really really like to play offline um maybe they've they found a workaround for uh some of us more online 
oriented players uh it would be kind of cool if they figured out a way to come out with like a competitive conquest where you were like playing against other people to try to capture fans and everything i need to pitch that to lance next time i next time i email him or something that'd be a pretty good idea for mlb 20 i don't know exactly how it'd work but that'd be a good idea but anyway, um, yeah, so Conquest is going to be very impactful this year. Uh, you're going to have to do probably at least some maps uh, to get the things that you want. So uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I, and it's fine with me. Conquest is a perfectly reasonable game mode. So, uh, so yeah, I'm cool with it. Okay, they talked a good bit about collections and how collections are going to work this year. That's always been probably the biggest part of Diamond Dynasty ever since like Diamond Dynasty 2015, uh, whenever they first came out with the Legends, uh, and that's collections. You know, collect uh, all the players from a specific team and get a reward, but then if you get the whole division, you get a better reward, and if you get the whole league, you get an even better reward, and if you get all the MLB, you get, like, the ultimate reward. That's always kind of how it's worked, um, and it seems like this this year, as far as the live series players go, it's kind of the same. Um, they've tried to maybe do a few things a little bit different, but for the most part, it's, it's just the same thing. Collect all the players from the team until you get to the ultimate reward. We don't know what that ultimate reward is going to be yet for collecting every single player. But, uh, I you know, we'll find somebody on day one will go and just buy, like pay $10,000 and just buy every single live series card in the game. So we'll figure it out pretty early who that is. But, uh, but anyways, there are a few other things that they are doing with collections that, that make, make them a little more interesting this year. Okay, one of the things that you can do is they have a special featured program collections. And uh, I don't exactly know what go into these collections, but I do know the reward that you get for doing them. If you do them, you will get 75, I believe 75 either 70 or 75 program stars to go towards that featured program. So if it's the first inning program, you get program stars for that. And as you know, that that like the first inning program is going to be that Andrew Jones, that Goose Gossage, and was it Cy Young? I think it was Cy Young. Anyway, uh, you can get a lot of progress done uh, just by collecting a certain amount of cards or equipment or whatever it is that you need to get that done. You can get a lot of progress. It's not 100% necessary. You don't have to do it, I don't think, but it is a, a really good way to help yourself get there a lot quicker. So it's something to keep in mind. And also with collections, uh, you are not going to be able to buy the Polo Grounds this year. The only way to get the Polo Grounds is to collect every other stadium in the game. And I kind of like that because, uh, you know, everybody kind of considers the Polo Grounds to be somewhat of a, a, of a cheesy kind of stadium. And uh, if, if you make it a little bit harder to get, then I think fewer people will end up ultimately doing it just because it's not really worth it. Uh, so, so I do like that change. And then we also have one more change to the collections to talk about. Yes, we now have program series specific uh, uh, collections. So, you know, if you collect a whole lot of rookie players, a whole lot of breakout players, all-star signature whatever it is you are going to be rewarded for that as long provided that you're willing to lock those cards in um and that could be a legitimate question because you don't know what your rewards are going to be whenever you go to lock them in so maybe you don't want to lock them in and you just rather uh sell them on the open market sometimes that's uh really the better move if you want more stubs but uh, if you do want to lock them in and get like a really good card of, out of it or whatever, you now have the opportunity to do so. And I would imagine that they're going to put some pretty juicy cards into, into these collections because, uh, you know, I, I figure it's going to be pretty expensive to complete like the entire hardware set or a good chunk of the hardware set so uh i, I would imagine that there are some pretty nice overalls like 95 plus overalls in in a lot of these programs so uh so yeah that that is another way for you to collect cards and get rewarded for it so like i said a ton of depth this year in diamond dynasty and a lot of choice you you get to choose the, the way that you want to go and 
that's something that we've been asking for content wise forever so they, they've really done a great job of addressing that this year okay last few things here rank seasons is going to work largely the same way that it did last year except this year you are going to have a, a, a choice of what rewards you get um at and there are going to be two different levels i think it's at the pennant race you get a choice pack and at the world series you get a choice pack the pennant race is going to be a gold choice pack and then at the world series it's going to be a diamond choice pack and the diamonds i, I know are brett boone uh don mattingly and <coughs> who was the other guy i i forgot who the other guy was anyway um yeah you're gonna have your choice of those three guys at the very end that's a lot different than we have had it and, and and it really could be a great way to make stubs if you could really hurry up and get to the world series really quickly whenever there aren't that many uh cards on the market and you choose the one that other people haven't chose uh you could sell that card for a lot of stubs and i promise you someone will bite like you can make upwards of 200,000 stubs just on that one card. You know what I mean? So, so it's going to be a lot more important to kind of, to kind of rush to, to get to the world series this year. And then also you get rewarded for going beyond the world series as well. You get a, a 10 pack bundle. I think for every hundred points that you go uh, over the world series. So that's something that'll kind of keep you engaged in ranked seasons because that's kind of been a problem in the past few years of people just quitting as soon as they hit 900 you know so it's been kind of weak so uh so they wanted to give us a little more incentive to keep going so that's pretty nice that's a nice little change oh also um i don't have a snapshot of this but uh the top 50 players every season will get a prestige nameplate and every single time you uh you make it into the top 50 you will get like a little world series ring that will go on to the nameplate so you guys can bet your ass that this year we're going for that nameplate i want to have a full nameplate a, a prestige nameplate with four different rings on it because i think that's the most that you can get on one uh so yeah we're going for it this year we're, we're gonna dominate this year we're gonna make it into the top 50 on the lifetime leaderboard and on the regular leaderboard so uh so yeah I'm, I'm i'm pretty excited about that i haven't had any motivation to really go for it any this year but that's definitely that's definitely some motivation to really kind of to kind of crank it up into high gear this year when it comes to mlb the show and diamond dynasty okay i almost forgot about battle royale but battle royale once again it's kind of like rank seasons it's largely the same except that now if you go flawless you get your choice of rewards and when i look at this lineup of rewards i mean you got all, all these cards they're not really all that special if i'm honest with you maybe the dale murphy will be okay maybe the the paul molitor the walter johnson will be okay I'm just not sure. They, they they don't look that sexy to me. They don't tw going 12 and 0 is really hard. If I'm gonna go 12 and 0, man, I want a dope ass fucking reward, not a reward that's gonna sell for like you know 30k on the market, which is what I'm thinking that a lot of these are gonna end up going for. Maybe Rob Dibble is gonna be a dominant reliever. I don't know, but they don't really look all that sexy hopefully once they start coming out with some more live content and they update br and all that the, the rewards will get a lot juicier maybe maybe put a couple signature series players in there or something like that that would be awesome so uh so yeah that is it guys uh for this video that is basically all that they talked about last week you do have a few mis miscellaneous things like they uh they have put a schedule up in diamond dynasty so if you're wondering when the content is going to be coming out and all that good stuff uh you will have an idea of that um, they also talked about uh, uh, multiple lineups and stuff like that, but we've already covered that in another video where you can, you know, save lineups and ma it, it makes it a lot easier on you. They really have streamlined a lot of different things, but ultimately that's it. Uh, I love you guys. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow with something. I don't know what we're going to do, but something. Um, and then my tutorial series comes out day after tomorrow. And uh, guys, let me know in the comments. I've been thinking about doing this, but uh, a couple days after opening day and all that, or maybe a couple days after I finish my tutorial series, 
I, I kind of wanted to do like maybe a tutorial stream where anybody that had any questions about uh, my tutorial series or, you know, maybe wanted to ask me something that wasn't addressed in it, uh, they can come into the stream and they can ask me a question and I can go ahead and I can try to help them as best I can. And I may even like play with a few of you guys and some friendlies uh, just to kind of work on uh, whatever it is that you need to work on. So, uh, so yeah, let me know if that's something that you guys would want to do. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but I kind of figured that I'd just throw it out there and see what you guys thought. Uh, let me know in the comments. Leave a like. Subscribe if you hadn't already. I love you guys, and I will see you guys later. Peace. Yeah.